Exciting news for AMD fans, a Danish retailer has spilled the beans listing AMD's highly anticipated RX 9070 and 9070 XT GPUs ahead of schedule fully complete with their release date. But that's not all, AMD has revealed that it took them 4 attempts to perfect the Strix Halo Uber APU, showing just how committed they are to pushing the boundaries of performance. And to round things off, leaked shipping manifests have surfaced giving us a sneak peek at some new Ryzen Threadripper 9000 Shimada Peak CPU variants. In today's video we're diving into all the latest AMD the leaks, rumors, and announcements, so stay tuned because you definitely don't want to miss a second of this. Welcome back to LA Electronics, your ultimate destination for the latest and greatest in PC tech news and leaks, especially when it comes to GPUs and CPUs. If you're serious about staying ahead of the curve, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you're always in the loop. Also, be sure to follow me on X so you can stay up to date on everything that's going on with the channel. A renowned leaker on X has uncovered an exciting find. Phonix, which is a Danish retailer, has briefly listed AMD's RX 9070 and RX 9070 XT GPUs early, giving us fresh insights into their potential launch date. Early on January 15, 2025, these GPUs were marked as in stock, but this quickly changed to January 23rd, 2025 as the expected restock date. The two listed models are from Gigabyte and they are the Radeon RX 9070 Gaming OC 16G and the Radeon RX 9070 XT Gaming OC 16G. While the designs are identical, their specifications will differ, and the limited stock seems to have been snagged up by eager early buyers. This development strongly hints at an official retail launch on January 24th, 2025, aligning with previous rumors. However, the prices listed on Phonix's pages appear to be placeholders with the RX 9070 at 7,599 Danish Krone or 1,049 US dollars and the RX 9070 XT at 9,299 Danish Krone or 1,283 US dollars. AMD has already stated that the 70 class GPUs won't come close to the $1,000 mark as they're meant to compete with Nvidia's $549 RTX 5070. Other retailer leaks suggest the RX 9070 XT might land in the $479 to $499 range, possibly even $529 for overclock models like Gigabyte's gaming OC version. If AMD wants to gain an edge, these cards will have to deliver stellar performance at a price point far below Nvidia's offerings. What do you think about these RX 9070 and RX 9070 XT leaks? What do you think their price will be? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to smash that like button if you're hyped for these GPUs. If you're loving the content and want to help keep it coming, consider buying me a coffee. Your support fuels each video, whether it's the latest tech news, detailed repair guides, or honest reviews. Every coffee you buy goes right back into the channel, helping me upgrade gear, improve the setup, and stay energized to bring you the best in PC tech news and leaks. Whether it's one coffee or a few, each $5 brew makes a huge difference, and I can't thank you enough for keeping this channel going strong. Your support truly means everything to me. A huge shout out to Stefan for the donation. AMD's new Strix Halo Uber APU for laptops was already turning heads with its 256-bit memory bus and massive iGPU, but the story of its development makes it even more fascinating. It turns out AMD needed four tries to perfect this groundbreaking chip, incorporating some cutting-edge tech into its CPU dies along the way. In an interview with Chips and Cheese, AMD's senior fellow shared exclusive insights into Strix Halo's inner workings. Mahesh revealed that AMD took four iterations to get Strix Halo just right. That might not be shocking considering the APU's long rumor development and slightly delayed launch. What is surprising, however, is that the CPU CCD dies aren't quite what we expected. Initially, it seemed AMD had repurposed two 8 core Zen 5 desktop CCDs and paired them with a new IO die containing the monstrous 40 Compute Unit iGPU. But that's not the case as Strix Halo has its own custom CCDs. These Zen 5 based CCDs are specially designed for mobile performance. For starters, they feature a new interconnect, as Mahesh explained that while the interconnect in AMD's desktop Zen 5 chips like the Ryzen 9 9950X is fast, it has limitations in power efficiency and dynamic power state support. Strix Halo's interconnect on the other hand is better in every way with lower power at the same high bandwidth, 32 bytes per cycle in both directions, and lower latency. The power state transitions are now almost instant but the trade-off is a slightly higher fabrication cost. Despite these changes, Strix Halo remains a fully featured Zen 5 implementation. 
including the 512-bit FPU. Mahesh even described it as a threadripper in the palm of your hands. AMD has pulled no punches in performance except for clock speed. This chip is built for efficiency, meaning that it may not reach the peak frequencies seen in desktop counterparts. Additionally, while the 32 megabytes of Infinity cache on the GPU die is currently reserved for GPU use, AMD could theoretically allow CPU access in the future with a simple update. For now, Mahesh says there's no immediate need to enhance CPU bandwidth. These tweaks and innovations make Strix Halo one of the most exciting chips in recent memory. AMD's dedication to refining this APU suggests it could deliver exceptional performance and battery life. I'm eager to see what it's truly capable of. What do you think about AMD's Strix Halo Uber APU and the effort it took to bring this whole Strix Halo architecture to life? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to hit that like button if you're as excited as I am. For those unaware, AMD Zen 5 base Ryzen Threadripper 9000 series hasn't officially stepped into the spotlight yet. However, thanks to a recent series of leaks, we now have a clearer picture of what to expect. These Threadripper 9000 CPUs are codenamed Shimada Peak and this lineup is set to replace the Zen 4 based Threadripper 7000 series. According to the new NBD shipping manifest shared by leaker Ulrak29 on X, the Threadripper 9000 CPUs would come in a variety of core configurations. Previous leaks hinted at 96 core and 16 core variants, but these new manifests now reveal the existence of 64 core and 32 core models as well. The flagship CPU is expected to unpack a whopping 96 cores and 192 threads. Built on AMD's Zen 5 architecture, this power Powerhouse will feature 12 CCDs with each consisting of 8 cores and 32 megabytes of L3 cache and a single I.O. die. While exact specs for the newly revealed variants remain unclear, if we take into account the 8 cores per CCD configuration, it's likely the 32 core model will use 4 CCDs and the 64 core variant will feature 8 CCDs. All models in the Shimada Peak lineup are expected to come with a 350 watt TDP, which aligns with AMD's typical Threadripper design. Additionally, the Threadripper 9000 series will include Pro variants aimed at pre-built workstations for major brands like HP, Lenovo, Dell, and Supermicro. While AMD hasn't confirmed a launch date, previous leaks suggest these chips would arrive sometime in 2025, possibly within this quarter or the next quarter. Whenever they debut, the Shimada Peak lineup is set to shake up the high-end desktop market in a big way. Personally, I can't wait to see the Shimada Peak Threadripper 9000 CPUs put to the test. With their groundbreaking specs, they look like absolute powerhouses that could dominate the competition. What are your thoughts on AMD's upcoming Threadripper 9000 Shimada Peak series? Are you hyped for them to release or not? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button as it really helps the channel grow. If you want to dive into how AMD is dominating Intel on Amazon's top 50 best-selling CPUs list, then click the card in the top right corner to check out my previous video where I break it all down in the detail. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, take care and peace out.